What's up, YouTube? Tay in the 2SS, and I am back with another video. I've been slacking on the videos, guys. I have been uh, super busy. Work has been just keeping me busy. Family, you know, those sorts of things. But anyway, I am back with another video. Uh, today, I have added another car to the fleet. Uh, but before we get into the video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified of all future videos. Let's get into it. So with the weather starting to change, my baby is gonna have to go into storage, which sucks. <laughs> now I know a lot of people are like, oh, you can uh, you can still drive it through the winter, like just put some snow tires on it, you'll be fine. I just don't wanna do that. Like this car is too, <laughs> it's too expensive, like it's too nice. Like I just, I would hate for something to happen. I know everything would be covered by insurance and whatnot, but um, I just don't want to do it. I just want to. I just want to keep her sheltered. Just keep her nice. Keep her new. Um, I don't want her to see the snow. So uh, because of that, I went out and bought a Chevy Trax. This thing is not the prettiest, <laughs> right? But it's it's clean and it is great on gas. Um, this is a 2013 version. It's the, uh, the LTZ, it's all wheel drive. It's a four cylinder. So it's great on gas. Like I think I filled it up maybe like four, four days ago or so. And I am still on a full tank of gas, which is crazy. But it's all like leather interior. It's in really, really good shape. It's actually pretty pretty roomy it's kind of like I guess you would consider this like a, a subcompact SUV but there's a good amount of room here even the back seats are like really taken care of there's no cracks you also have your your bow sound system there but this is a 2013, so it also has the 2013 technology. So it doesn't have a push to start. And then it has these like touch sensitive buttons, like no, not non like physical buttons, which I really don't like. It's kind of garbage. Don't want to get copyrighted. Let's turn that down. And you can come back here pop the trunk a good amount of space there's not much like storage area on the sides here I'm not even sure what these are for there's a latch here now you can get change the tail light through there but I'm not really sure what this is for then you got your area here for your tire And of course these seats fold down to kind of make it like a hatch but overall it's not a bad car um, but again this thing is so slow like I can't believe how slow it is like it is there is no power whatsoever turn that radio off it's a uh, it's a turbocharged four-cylinder but like just hearing turbo is super misleading like there is no turbo in it whatsoever like it's you don't feel any power like it takes forever to accelerate like <laughs> it really feel like it goes like 0 to 60 in like 30 seconds um, but again on the flip side of that you get great gas mileage um, which is ideal right I'm just looking for something to beat around in in the winter um, speaking of winter 
I kept going back and forth on what I wanted to do with the Camaro uh, for the winter. Um, I looked at a couple garages, indoor heated, but um, they were asking a lot of money. They wanted like $900, um, which I didn't really, like I feel, I feel like I can get someplace cheaper than like paying 900 bucks um, to store my vehicle. So I went out to the hardware store and I purchased a car shelter. Um, so this one is 12 feet by 20 feet by eight feet. And so there's a good amount of space. The Camaro will be able to fit with like no problem. Um, I was looking at, I bought a tarp for like the bottom, um, like to kind of be like a floor, like a mock floor. So it would, uh, it would cover the grass because I'm planning on putting it like here. Like it's just going to stretch out into this area here. Um, that's the idea anyway. But after talking to my father-in-law, he mentioned that um, mice could get into this, right? If they can, they'd be able to burrow underneath the grass and kind of get in here. And they say that you know, putting like dryer sheets or like fabric softener and covering your tailpipes and all that stuff. And that should help deter um, any mice or, or rats getting in, um, getting into your interior, uh, you know, chewing, chewing on your electrical wiring. Um, but so that, that's making me second guess actually putting up um the shelter because they can they can still get in right so it's just like am i better off just putting it in a garage somewhere um you guys let me know below like because i'm still kind of undecided on the route that i ultimately want to go um another option is just just to leave her here like put it put some winter tires on and um just kind of drive her when it's not much snow on the ground or no snow on the ground and when there is, just take this guy. Um, but again, I really, really don't want to do that. I really just want to put her up. Um, but I am undecided on which route that I want to go right now. So you guys, let me know what you would do. Let me guys, uh, let me know if you guys know of any um, garages, either in Windsor or Detroit, uh, or the Windsor area, for that matter. Um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments and uh, I'm definitely looking for uh, advice on exactly which route I should go. And just like that, this video is done. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video. Peace.